think it's a very detailed like structured week that by the end of it you know whether or not like this problem is worth solving and if the solution you chose was the right solution for the problem that has to be solved you map that out um then you do sketching exercises you'll be also doing decision exercises to be able mm-hmm. to define what you want to um actually produce and design and then test with users so the second to last day you'll be doing some uh, design and then after that you test with the users so it's a very intense process but at the end you have a very uh, valuable and tangible outcome so it can invalidate or validate your pretty much idea yeah so design sprints as we mentioned it's a very intense process but it avoids having to build out something that is not um, valuable to the user so you don't spend months um, trying to build that out so you save a lot of time it's very efficient uh, very intense but it's it's something that is of incredible value um, if you can make sure that that's a part of your process so instead of spending as you said like months trying to brainstorm things have a billion meetings go through that you can do all of that in a week So you have a decision maker and then you also have a designer or two. So a second designer helps to map out that prototype. Most often you want to make sure the prototype is clickable or functioning in the best way possible and that requires a little bit more um, help usually. You also have um, product managers that you want to have their perspective in the room. Um, there's going to be a bunch of different experts as you try to map out your problem mm-hmm. and run through some exercises, sketching, and then different stakeholders that may be involved. Um, yeah. through the product or process that you want to make sure um that they have visibility in their input. So one of the things that can go wrong is if your decider kind of can't decide on a bunch of stuff and then you end up having way too much stuff to mock up and to test where you likely will blur um the results of your user testing where there's going to be so much stuff to validate that you won't really get a true answer for the things that you were trying to um resolve. So that can not being narrow and focused mm-hmm. enough can be one of the concerns that I would um bring up a major part of it is like problem solving and like sketching out the solution secondly there's a bias because we I know we had that in one of the sprints um we ran where one of our designers sketched out a solution because she's a designer her solution was pretty so people understood it better it might not have been the best solution but it was the most visually appealing solution on a piece of paper so people voted for it Yeah. Yeah. So as part of the sketching exercises, yeah. um there's a bunch of different resources in the room and people have to bring their ideas into pen and paper, right? And not everyone has the same talent. So yeah, yeah to your point, it's yeah. definitely a risk. Another one is also not voting for things because they're on your road map later on. Mm-hmm. Um that adds a little bit of risk because it, if it's on your road map you know great if it has been validated already but if yeah. it hasn't been validated that's something that you it's a good opportunity to do that now but i think where we're unique is that we ourselves don't bring in just the facilitator we bring in our own subject matter experts in the room as well so we have a designer in the room that's from tribal skill we have vp of strategy or, you know director of product from our side in the room present as well to offer their perspective in that week i know who's the key stakeholder i know what the behaviors are i know who's the expert if i need to go to something so it sets off the stage right away for like who what where and you know if i have to look for information like who do i speak to we have the buy in for the product and we know where to go if we need extended information i've seen time and time again where um there is so much time spent on iteration on designs and things like that where you know several user interviews around this is just such a condensed format and it has you know you save a lot of weeks just by doing that because sometimes you'll invalidate you know your work but then it's you're going to not have spent four or five weeks on it um just trying to do the designs right um aside from that if you validated then you validated it in one week versus a month or two months 